in the afternoon <laughs> So today we're at Blarney Castle and Gardens. I didn't get much video footage, but I did get photos, so I will include those. Um, it's been really amazing. We also went to this really amazing market in Cork called the English Market. It was the freshest food. Everything was bought in bulk. And what's really interesting here is if you use your own bags, a lot of time you'll get a discount. And if you want to use store plastic bags, they charge you per bag. So it really deters you from using plastic bags. So I wish that's something that we had in the States. I'm not super knowledgeable on plants, but a lot of this has been about plants so far. I love them, I think they're beautiful. I love taking pictures, but I don't know too much, but I am learning a lot. So this behind me is the mansion at Blarney. It's huge. It is absolutely huge. And the owner of this place lives in it right now. It's kind of weird I'm like walking on his yard basically, but it's beautiful.
This view is amazing. I just have to show you it really quick. This is Dingle Peninsula. The other day when I was horse riding, I was on the very opposite side of the island and today it's Dingle. The waves are really huge. There's a lot of tourists here. This is also where part of the Star Wars film was filmed. I think that's up higher though, not where I am right now on the beach. Oh, I'm gonna get wet. Yeah, the waves are pretty big. The water is very clear. It's probably the same temperature as the air right now. I'd say it's about 60 degrees right now. It feels really nice. But yeah, it's beautiful. So this is my first surprise and we're booked for a sea safari. So I'm basically dressed like a National Geographic photographer right now. I have like layers and layers and layers of stuff. But there's a possibility of seeing whales, seals, dolphins. <sighs> it's luck of the draw though. So we'll see what we can see. And yeah, this is happening. I'll show you the outfit. I'm really, really wrapped up, so. But I'm so excited, so yeah, we'll see. Guys, that's your introduction to the type of sea conditions we're not lying flat on the seabed. And over the millions and millions of years, you have clay and earth and sand and all gets compacted to form what we can see here today. This is a slice of what was lying down flat on the seabed. But when this was lying on the seabed, it wasn't anywhere near here. Guys. Can you 
see like a U shape marked out of the cliff. You see it? Yeah. There's another one to the right of that and another one to the right of that, a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller again. Can you see the three of those like half circles marked out of the cliff face there, guys? Well, during Oliver Cromwell's invasion of Ireland, Oliver Cromwell was a British invader that invaded in 1649. No Googling, of course, I'm right. <laughs> But we fought him at East of Dingle and attacked Menard Castle. He burnt them all alive inside it, God rest them. He took range finding here at one of his ship's cannons. And he needed to know how close he got he could get and what damage he could do. And those three marks on the cliff face are actually cannonball hits from Oliver Cromwell's ship's cannons. Island or the uh, cave here, guys, is known as Powleron. Basically, it translates into seal hole. Sea conditions aren't ideal. side of us you can see the two pointed um two peaky island there to the left but well, the last scene of the force awakens was shot there with the beehive huts but I did spot a minky whale just ahead of us here. Minkies are oh. the smallest that we see. They're up to about 30 feet, 10 oh. meters. Southwest Ireland. Tomorrow we are heading further up north and that will be the beginning of the stuff and experiences and places up north. So I'm not going to bother telling you all that we're doing because I don't know all that we're doing and also we're probably going to change some things along the way. Um, I'd say I'm about halfway through my trip. I got here on Sunday and I get back on the following Wednesday and today's Friday so I'm about halfway through it's pouring rain so I'm inside the greenhouse right now I think I'll do a completely separate vlog on their garden they have a huge botanical garden that is absolutely incredible but 
I just didn't have time to do a vlog that would actually do it justice. So, but I'll show you the greenhouse that I'm in right now. Um, it's for all the dry, I don't know a lot about plants, so I might get a lot of this wrong or say something that is just not correct and I'm sorry. But from my understanding, there's a lot of um, cacti and plants that are typically more dry. So I'll show you where I'm sitting and what is around me right now. So I'm sitting on this bench. This is a little glimpse of it. All the cacti. This is the smaller greenhouse and there's another one behind me through there. And that has even more in it. 